Hey, this is Francis Tapon with Wanderlearn.com. This episode is going to be short, and it's just about Johnny Ward talking about how many countries are there in the world. It seems like a very simple question, and it is, but it's a complicated answer. And he goes over that in a brief way. For a more in-depth study of that question, go to the link below. It's a video made by Rick Gazarian of Counting Countries, a real thorough deep dive on this complex issue about how many countries are there in the world. But first, I wanted to give you a quick update. As of April 25th, Johnny Ward is going to be climbing up Mount Everest. He's been at base camp for six days, and this is the latest news as of today. He's Tomorrow morning, he's going to wake up and start going up to Camp 1 through the Kumbu Icefall, which is a gnarly, dangerous part, arguably the most dangerous part of all the mountain, which is all the way at the bottom of the mountain, ironically. He has to get through that, probably at night is when he's going to be doing it, and then getting to Camp 1. And after Camp 1, he's going to go to Camp 2. And then after that, is he going to go to Camp 3? No, he's going to turn around and go all the way back down to base camp. Why this? Because you need to acclimatize. You have to go up, and your body produces more red blood cells as the air gets thinner. And then with that stronger red blood cell count, you can go down and recover down at lower altitudes where there's more oxygen. And then eventually you go right back up through the Kumbu Ice Fall again, go up to maybe camp three or four, then you come all the way back down, you go all the way up. You do this for about uh, a month to, two, uh, to six weeks, hoping to summit sometime at the end of May. So that's the update from Johnny Ward. And now listen to Johnny Ward talk about how many countries are there in the world. Don't forget to like and subscribe this and share it with your friends. And become a patron at patreon.com slash ftapon. Visit wanderlearn.com to spread this message. So every country in the world is kind of a touchy subject, you know, because what's yes. a country, what, what qualifies a country? Is uh, Ukraine a country? <laughs> it depends what, what time this uh, podcast gets published, I guess. <laughs> no, it depends also if you're a certain type of Russian who says, no, they're just part of Russia. <laughs> um, so the UN recognizes 193 countries, right? So loads of people who are trying to visit every country in the world go for 193. Right. But, but, but then you get into politics. For example, I think everyone who's not Chinese would say that Taiwan is a country. It is Well, it is a country. Mm. But the UN don't recognize it because of the political pressure and power that China have, right? So you can't exclusively use that 193. So you have to add China, for, uh, Taiwan for sure, which is 194. And then Vatican, Kosovo, Palestine, all these places which are countries by every definition. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that gets inflated to 197. Got it. And then that was the goal I went off my 10 year journey was 197. Um, and then I finished. What about, how do you feel about, since we're here in Mauritania, mm. just north of us is the Western Sahara. Exactly. So that's how I got this, this number of 205 then. So the UN and other bodies have got these things called observer states, which is essentially regions that are almost countries. What about Sealand? Have you heard of them? Yeah, I know. it. Yeah. That's the oil rig off the yeah. coast of England. Yeah. yeah. Is that is that in the 205? No, that's not okay. in the 205. Okay. <laughs> it's countries that are almost countries. There's Abkhazia, um, South Ossetia, Western Sahara, Kurdistan, Somaliland, okay. all, all these countries that are, have got their own passports and currencies, oh, really? but but country but powerful nations like the U.S. and 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 China don't recognize them. Okay. So there's a few more like that that aren't countries, but kind of almost are. And that ends this episode of the Wander Learn podcast, where we explore travel, technology, and transformation. If you'd like to see the show notes with links to what we've talked about, go to wanderlearn.com and click on this episode. If you'd like to connect with me, just remember F Tapon. That's my first initial and my last name. F Tapon is always my social media username. My website is ftapon.com. Do you want to leave me an anonymous voicemail where you can make a comment or ask a question? Then go to speakpipe.com slash ftapon. Furthermore, if you'd like to get rewarded for supporting my projects, then go to patreon.com slash ftapon. That's where you can pick up some remarkable rewards for as little as $2 a month. Now, five quick favors. Number one, subscribe to the WanderLearn podcast. Two, download it. Three, share it. Four, review it. And five, sign up for my newsletter at wanderlearn.com. Our theme music was composed by Eric Stratman. This is Francis Tapon encouraging you to wander and learn. Thank you.